Hi everybody. Today is Sunday, uh, April 19th, and this is just a short a vlog about what's coming this week for your class. So I've sent this to all of my students in all of my classes and I just wanted to take a minute to go through things uh, one by one and I'll start with my independent study in business math. Very briefly, uh, as you know everything has been organized by weeks so this week uh, which we are we just finished with uh, chapter um, 10 and we have moved on to chapter 12 so we're skipping chapter 12 and all of the homework in business math is extra credit so the only other other required element you have for the course uh, is your final exam now the final exam will be online and proctored it's scheduled for Thursday May 7th from 1130 to 120 one of my students had asked me is this a firm time and the answer is no if you prefer to take it at another time uh, you just have to let me know if I don't hear from you then I will assume that that's when you're going to be taking the exam so if you want to take it at a different time just please let me know moving on to thermodynamics all of the material for thermo has been posted uh, we're covering up through chapters 8 so homework uh, has been posted for chapter 8 and the due dates uh, which once again are they're just to keep you on um, on schedule if you submit late I will grade them late it's not a problem as long as we get it done uh, prior to the end of the semester now in this class our proctored exam is scheduled for Thursday May 7th from 1 30 till 3 30 I'll proctor you by Zoom unless you have some other person that you wish to proctor you and then you can communicate with me about that but I would prefer to proctor you myself. Um, if this time is not convenient once again you just need to get a hold of me and let me know when you would like to do it and we will set up an appointment. Fluids because fluids is a fully online class uh, we do not have a time scheduled, just that your final needs to be completed before 5 p.m. on Friday, May 8th. So all of the material, once again, is posted. Um, I updated one of the, one of the captions uh, with an actual computational fluid dynamics problem. Um, so this is what passes for humor in uh, engineering. This is actually a still of a graduate student's work um, describing the motion of water over a fish's fin. So as he says, thank God I now know how fish swim. I actually have a video of this, so if anybody's interested, let me know. I'll be happy to send it to you. But I posted this because we are moving on. Chapter 5 and 6 is a, sort of an introduction to computational fluid dynamics. Uh, chapter 7 and 8 and 9 are about uh, dimensional analysis and modeling so um, it's a little bit different this is a model of an airplane in a wind tunnel so all of the videos are posted uh, every all the homework assignments are available everything is ready to go and when you are ready to take the final please contact me and we'll set up a time so whenever that is will be just fine with me all right, so that covers uh, business math, thermo, and fluids. The last two classes that I'd like to talk for a moment about are practical surveying. Now, or practical surveying and engineering surveying. Now, for this class, because we had a lab, um, I'm putting up content week by week. So the content for this coming week is now available to you. And the topic that we are covering is a global positioning system. So the global positioning system vlogs uh, homework assignment and lab assignment are all available to you under the April 22 to 24 uh, third week after spring break area. Um, one thing I do want to note is that we have a virtual lab on GPS. This is based on some real data that we have collected based on um, a surveying course that Engineering Associates has done for us. Uh, in the field behind the science and math building behind I mean to the west so if you watch this vlog it will step you through how to do the lab so it's very important it's only 12 minutes but watching it will be uh, tremendously helpful to you
Okay, the final course looks very much like practical surveying, engineering surveying. Uh, once again, arranged by topics. This week's topic is a global positioning system. Same thing, we have vlogs, homework, a lab, and a vlog to watch before you do the lab. So this will take us through uh, to April 24th. Now, in all of my classes, uh, the following week after April 24th uh, would be the week of April 25th through 29th. And that's our last week of school prior to the week uh, of June of excuse me of May. Hang on, I think I skipped ahead. There we go. Uh, 27th, I'm sorry. The following week after April 20th to 24th is the week of April 27th to May 1st. That is the last full week of class before finals. So um, finals are actually Wednesday, April 6th. Thursday, April 7th, and Friday, April 9th. So, excuse me, I said April. Uh, that would be May 6th, 7th, and 8th are finals. Uh, May 4th and 5th are the last two days of classroom instruction prior to finals. So on those two days, we can do catch up. We can work together to get you ready for your final exam. Uh, we'll use it as you see fit. So please let me know uh, what I can do to help, and I will look forward to hearing from you. Uh, thanks, and have a great week.